Tom and Tell 18 year old versus the new Tom and Tell cigar malt. What are these like and should they be on your shelf? Stay tuned for the whiskey whistle. Ho ho ho! Hello my whiskey people, Mark here from Whiskey Whistle on YouTube, sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, Winterpeg, bringing you a two-up of Tom and Towel. Now, Tom and Towel from Speyside is a very, very under the radar type of a single malt. And actually they're very aggressive uh, lately with marketing and trying to do a lot with their workhorse brands of which one of them is this 18 year old. It's 40% ABV, probably a little bit of color added. And this actually is from Angus Dundee, the same owners as Glen Caddam, which is typically 46% and unchill filtered and natural in color. This is really meant to be their kind of value leader. They want to try to uh, capture some of the the people that typically shop for things like Glenlivet and Glenfiddich, of which there are just tons of people that uh, that regularly buy those brands. So hey, uh, check out Tom and Towel. All right, equally a very interesting space side malt. And here we have the 18 year old, probably one of the least expensive 18 year olds you can find and often sold with a couple of glasses, which is very cool, very cool. While we're just sitting here, I'm also gonna pour the Tom and Tao Cigar Malt. Now, this is very interesting. This is Oloroso Sherry Cask Matured, full sherry cask maturation. Um, they've called it Cigar Malt because it really would pair nicely with a, with a cigar. 43% ABV, so a bit of a bump up in, in strength. Some interesting things here, by the way. Tom and Tao cigar, cigar Malt is the perfect partner to accompany the world's finest cigar. So yeah, it's made for cigars. Okay, here we go. Get that poured. Okay, excellent. Let's check the color of these two out. So what do you see for color there? A very standard orangey amber again probably color filtered color uh, added pardon me with the uh, the 18 year old and uh, and then we see the cigar malt quite a bit darker that's probably mostly natural if not all natural let's get that taken away and uh, no it doesn't say anything here about being natural in color but one thing that's really cool is and i'll just read that right from the label master distiller robert fleming hello mr robert fleming whose family has been making whiskey in the Speyside Glenlivet region for four generations, has carefully selected the finest Oloroso Sherry butts from Andalusia, Spain, to mature Tom and Tao cigar malt. He has also included some Tom and Tao peated single malt to create this rich, complex, and full-flavored Tom and Tao single malt. Great. And I'll just tell you a quick story. So... As soon as I bought this cigar malt, I cracked it open and loved it. I just thought, wow, this is this is really, really good. And I took it to a family event and I poured some for non-whiskey drinkers. Everybody was so shocked with how interesting this cigar malt is. So what did I do? I bought another bottle that very day. I mean, I had to, of course, of course. Okay, I didn't bring the canister, by the way. I'll just grab that. All right, so there is the, the canister. Quite attractive. And again, it's just very, very much styled after a, um, uh, maybe like a sherry canister. So some really interesting motifs there. Now, of course, we're going to have to start with Tom and Towel 18, 40% ABV and um, probably a mix of your typical X bourbon and a little bit of X sherry. Well, anyway, that's my guess. We'll give it a try. Oh, the legs, let's check the legs out, hey? Oh, 
Okay, so what do we see for legs? Pretty quick starting with the 18 year old and much, much more drizzly and slow and thick with cigar, mar cigar malt, obviously. What a difference. Okay. Okay, so nose for Tom and Towel 18. You know, I think this is all ex bourbon. Super fruity. We've got big, 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 big peaches and apricot. Beautiful orchard fruits. Vanilla custard. Fresh, fruity. Some vanilla pods there. This is a really, really nice departure for people who really love, say, Glenmorangie. And I should say the newer Glenlivet, which are predominantly ex-bourbon matured. It's zesty, it's zingy, it's got some uh, uh, great, again, the great, those peaches, so even some kind of like, like fuzzy peaches, the candy. And the lightest hint of um, banana, bananas, Oscar, F bananas, oh, Foster, that's what it is, bananas, Foster. A little bit of milk, sorry, not milk, white, white chocolate here. Okay, the palate, cheers. Mmm. So refreshing, so zingy. Okay, it's 40%. But you don't miss that 3 or 6% very much here. It's, it's a big, big whiskey at 40%. Mm. Very much the same vanilla. Some um, canned mandarin orange syrup. The peaches, a little bit of uh, apricot, beautiful vanilla custard, just poured right over top. And even that white chocolate making an appearance on the palate. Um, goodness sakes. This is really, really, really good. And even though it says gentle, you've got enough going on here um, to give you and your buddies a really great, great tasting. If you want to grab a bottle of that 18, it's very reasonable. Hmm. And there's a slight Kleinlishy waxiness to it. A sprig or two of mint um, working in the background there. They talk about heather, honey, some spice. Layers of dried fruits. Well, I'm getting more fresh, again, fresh um, peaches. Hmm. The longer you keep it on your tongue, the more spiciness you get there. We'll add some water. 40%, so I won't add very much. That was less than one milliliter. And then I'm going to give it, get a little whiff of my coffee here. 
neutralize my nose. All right, smells really good. Wakes me up too. All right, so Tom and Tell 18 with water added. On the nose, I get a little ramping up of the, uh, the white chocolate note. Still very fruity. We still have lots of um, peaches and fuzzy peaches, the candy. Some dried peaches. A little bit of apricot. And with water, the water, really, all it did was really add a little hint of, of, uh, of white chocolate there. Still very fruity, very fruit forward. Lots of vanilla custard on there as well. And the more you chew it, the more fruit, the more vanilla you get out of this. And yeah, hey, it's 40% ABV, but man, that is really, really quite nice. Now, if you're typically buying Glenlivet 18, um, Glen, Glenfiddich 18, Glenmorangie 18, then I would suggest just once, just once, please try the Tom and Towel 18 and tell me what you think of that, please. Okay, final sip here. Hmm. A nice little hint of leather coming through there. Excellent. All right, so on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Tom and Tell, 18 year old. What is that going to be, folks? It's going to be 89 out of 100. You heard it 89 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Tom and Tell, 18. It's a buy, definitely. The price is very good, and you're getting quite a lot for your money despite the ABV. Don't let that scare you. It's got the flavor, I promise you. Hmm. All right, well now, what you've been waiting for, the Tom and Towel Cigar Malt. Let's check that out together. The nose, first of all. The peat is just so interesting here. The tiny bit of peat, I'm guessing one out of 20 barrels, maybe as low as one out of 30 or 40. I have something kind of like the oiled gravel roads in uh, rural areas. Not quite asphalt, but you get this, this sweetness, the sweet odor, or I shouldn't say odor, the sweet smell from this oil. I don't know if that's kerosene or, or whatever it is. So a little bit of that there. Um, puffs of smoke here, light puffs of smoke. Kind of like um, a little bit of burning cedar, but um, at a distance and a very low smoldering fire. We've got some um, clove stuck ham. So ham with all the clove stuck on it. So that's interesting. But lots of dark sherry notes. We've got dark raisins. We have some dark dark prunes, dark plums. On the palate, all that comes through. But I also get some really interesting mint. Kind of like really, really old, your typical minty toothpaste. Paste, not gel. These were some exceptional casks used. They could have stayed in there longer, but I think you'd lose a little bit of the effect of the peat. Let's add some water. The finish is medium to long. That's a good five, four, four, five milliliters. Let's add a tiny bit more. There. 
So with water. Okay, so the peat has taken a back seat. We've got some fruit coming forward. A little bit of 90% dark chocolate. Dusty, leathery, definitely a library leather bound kind of old novel note, old encyclopedia. Hmm. It does pretty well with water. Really ramps up that um, that uh, uh, dark chocolate note. The finish is fruity, a little bit dry. We've got some fruit skins, the uh, the dark raisins and and prunes trailing out there. Spices. Some good spice, candied ginger, um, little dollops of nutmeg, light little bit of cinnamon, but not very much. It's mostly nutmeg here. Some cardamom as well. Hmm. Well, it's great. It's great. First of all, get over here. A malt hug. Mm, 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 mm. And a little malt kiss. Mwah. Excellent. All right, so let's get on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Tom and Tao Cigar Malt. What is that going to be, folks? Hmm. Delicious. It's going to be 92 out of 100. You heard it. 92 points out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Tom and Tao Cigar Malt. Great stuff. I really like it. And I'm so happy that I have another backup bottle of that. Now, this is what's coming. Oh, yeah. We're going to mix those two. Make a super Tom and Towel. Season that need. It's got the fruit. It's got the leather. It's got the little bit of peat. Mm-hmm. The best of both worlds there. Very nice. Well, folks, I sure hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's right over here. Hit the bell as well. And leave a comment. Uh, check me out on uh, social media, on Instagram, on Twitter, on, on Facebook, even on TikTok now, at Whiskey Whistle. You'll find me there, okay? Take care, folks. Bye now. Bye now.